Pharmacoepidemiology will become increasingly important as the Australian population ages. So we're using more medicines. Uh, there's also multiple medicines used, so it'll be very important to have high quality evidence on which to base our clinical and health policy decisions. We have a, a new collaboration with the Department of Epidemiology and Preventive Medicine at the Alfred Centre and we have a number of new projects in this area uh, looking at the way that medicines are used at the society level. Uh, we also have a research strength in relation to ageing and we're collaborating with uh, Old Age Psychiatry at Monash University uh, to do research projects looking at the way that psychotropic medicines are used in aged care facilities. I guess with pharmacy I've just always wanted that patient contact, I wanted to be on the front line to actually make a difference and so this is why I've just always been drawn with pharmacy in particular but then also being able to do research as well so to make an impact. It's really important to look at medicine use in the real life populations when uh, medicines are marketed. Clinical trials that are done before the marketing are often limited to um, um, adult populations and people with um, uh, usually not that many uh, other comorbidities or other medicines. Collaboration is really the foundation of what we do and we would welcome uh, applications from potential PhD students or postdoctoral fellows or, or even staff who may wish to do a research exchange with us here at, at Monash University. Definitely here at Monash it is one of the leading faculties of pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences so the researchers here are world class and they have a lot of talent so I do feel like I am getting quite a lot of exposure to that. I go to conferences uh, annually that focus on methodology and there is always something new that I learn. So I think it's really interesting to then go come back to your office and, um, and think about the methods and, and hopefully to apply in my own research. The future is certainly really bright. Our research group is growing quite quickly here at the university and so it's certainly exciting to be part of that development and leading that development uh, in collaboration with our national and international partners.